Hi, and welcome back to my Wild Edibles Guide. In today's video, we have another fungus here. These are some younger ones, and this is known as the Scarlet Wax Cap. And I love the name for this mushroom as it's so colorful, and it's uh, almost hard to miss. And uh, it comes from a group of guild mushrooms that are um, called wax caps because they have this almost sheen-like appearance to the top of their caps, which you can see it almost looks like someone sprayed a really nice clear coat over them. And um, now most wax caps are considered edible, although they're not among the top of the group of edible fungus. And this one in particular, the scarlet wax cap, is indeed considered to be edible, although it's a very rare mushroom and not much um, research has been done on it. So if you do find this one and you decide you're going to consume it, just make sure to try it out in a small amount first and uh, wait 24 hours and see how your own body reacts and then take it from there. Um, so I'm going to harvest one of these for you this is an older specimen here and you can see that the gills are actually yellow and gold with the the very ends of them being that color as they fade to a darker color as they go towards the middle which is a pretty distinct feature of this mushroom and the younger ones are usually going to have a lot more color to them and as they get older you can see some older ones back here they start to fade with their beautiful color and it almost seems like they they love to open up like a inside out umbrella it looks like so it's pretty cool and um, the younger ones obviously they start off looking almost blood red so you can see here's some really nice young ones and um, as they mature they'll start to go to that more uh, bright red so pretty cool wild edible mushroom the scarlet wax cap if you uh, see this one growing around it's pretty cool although it is rare in most places so if you do find it consider it almost a blessing and um, Take your time to identify this properly before consuming it as uh, I'll have a whole bunch of details of this mushroom below for you and um, it goes over the spore prints, the habitat and a whole bunch of other stuff that I might be missing. So make sure to always look over the description and um, one last thing I'll say about this scarlet wax cap is that it's usually growing amongst coniferous trees and it is considered a mycorrhizal fungus and I'll be going over the types of fungus coming up very soon so you guys know what I'm talking about when I say mycorrhizal or sapotrophic and I'm sure you guys know what parasitic funguses are already so but there are a few different types and just knowing um, how they're working amongst decomposing or working with plants and trees in the area can help you to identify the fungus as well so anyways if you've enjoyed the video guys uh, make sure to subscribe and like <clears throat> as there will always be new content for you and we will see you very soon take care and hope you enjoyed